Uh, it was uh, yesterday that I was reliably informed that the Lagos State Task Force has come to pledge the sticker of demolition to some of our properties in Alaba, to some of our shops in Alaba. And um, I now told my task force to snap those things picture and forward it to me because it was Saturday. The first person I could call across to was the chairman of the local government. I called him about three times and forwarded that pictures to him. He replied me through text and said that he is in a meeting that he will get back to me. I called the DPU of Ojo. But I look at what is happening. Oh, this people has come again for the second time. That's why it's all this hardship. That's why that people are dying of hunger. That's why that they that with their properties and their shops have been demolished barely a year and now is shopless, is businessless, is not doing anything. The DPO told me that he's not aware. He's not aware of anything. I called the director of BSS in Ojo. I told him, oh, look at what is happening. I also forwarded the pictures to him. He affirms to me that he doesn't know what is happening. I didn't stop there. I went on to call the area command the first time. Room within this uh, area is under his control. He also told me that he's not aware. That he, nobody informed him and they have not even reported in his office that they are coming to Alaba. So later the area commander called me and said that yes, there are some places in Alaba Rago where they are going, not in Alaba Electronics. I said okay. I called the GM of Laska, Engineer Oki, who is also saddled with the responsibility of demolition. He told me that he's not aware that if there is anything that will be like demolition, that his office should be aware. That he should be the one that will mobilize people to go for that job. I called the, uh, I called the CP of police of Lagos State and told him, I look at what is happening and I forwarded the pictures to him. He told me he is not aware that he will get back to me. Let him do inquiries. I want to tell you that the whole of life yesterday night, I was sleepless. I never slept. I was making contact and connection. All of a sudden, this early morning, the security department now called me and said that the Caterpillar is around, that the police is around, that the demolition team is around. I have to try it. I called the BSS uh, director in our job. He was here. You don't know him. He's here. Why all these things are happening? So, I okay, come and witness what is happening. So, when I got to this place, I walked to the police. I said, Oga, okay, the information reaching me is that all the security formations within this Lagos are not aware of your action. He now said I should call uh, the task force chairman. I don't have the number of the task force chairman because the one the director gave to me, the man said that he has been transferred from Lagos, that he's now in Abuja. He's no more in Lagos. I now put a call across all the prominent Igbo people that we are members of this committee that was created by the Lagos State Government and the Governor of South East with the Deputy Speaker of the uh, House of Representatives. They said is uncalled for. That the idea is not captured in the report that has been concluded. You all will bear me witness last three days there was a publication on Nation newspaper and there was a publication on the song we went into media and we were there present when the governor of Lagos State delivered his opening speech after delivering his welcome address they said that he had an appointment and he has to go to Abuja so when Hope, governor Hope delivered his lecture finish it was late we made contact and they said that the governor had left to Abuja the governor of Imo State who happens to be the southeast governor's foreign chairman and also the uh, the chairman of all the APC governors in Nigeria now told us that he is coming back to make that presentation officially. All of us left. Little do we know that this people has something in mind. So this morning, when I got the information that they have come for that demolition, I called the local government chairman. 
the Jolibo government chairman now told me that they are not supposed to come. That even the fancy and furniture building has been agreed on that they should pay that building. Since it's for the association. And I say, okay, they are demolishing it. I think that's their first point of contact. They started that demolition there. He said, okay, you will get back to me. On getting to this place, I saw them, their demolition already. I saw the uh, the team leader. I was trying to talk to him. He said, I should talk to the chairman of task force. I now put call across to the CP. I said, speak with your CP. He looked at me. But I said, your CP is online. Before... <laughs> hey, after the grammar and English well articulated, Oga, the simple question is what next? Now, listen on Debo, this advice is for my Igbo people residing in Lagos. Listen, the demolition of that Alaba International Market, we need to show the Yoruba people that Nada Kanti Anyata. Do you know our next step now? Let every Igbos residing in Lagos go. Go to the uh, Ted Mel, uh, Mainland Bridge, I do whatever it's called. That place, that uh, river there, me will buy them. I hear say they will feel close that river. If we close that river, we will build our market there. Me will come see any Yoruba when we come there. What do you think about that? I think that it will be the best idea. Me will buy all those rivers, all those oceans. Me will start to the ship there. How much it will cost? Money na water na. Eh? Money na water. Me will buy those uh, river, ocean, uh, sea. Me will just build our market there. We can never leave Lagos. We need to show them we have money na water. <laughs> hey, listen and listen attentively. Uh, you call the commissioner of police. You call DSS. You call inspector. You call local government chairman. Okay, you want them to inform you is this true? Oh, yeah, they wait now. Listen. The continual detention of mass in them, they can have proven that Nandi Boboso. The continual detention of mass in them, they can have shown and proved that Ndi Bwemwelonu, Ndi Bwemwelonu, in as far as Nigeria is concerned, Ndi Boboso, Ushwemwelonu, Emwela Ndi Bombo, you know you can Look at Ian Emun in Lagos. The same you people can, you Ordinary sit at home for release of mass in Amkanunama. They demolished the first one, when they will keep many things. The second one, third one, fourth one. So, after the English, what next? The highest thing they will do is to send uh, Senator Patrick Ifanyoba, who puts a man and over. They will come and, and uh, promise you with microphone. We will not allow this to happen again. We we are we are all of us are the owner of this country called Nigeria, and it is our right to stay in any part of this country. These things is unacceptable, and we are writing and calling on the state government and the, the governor of Sangualu to look into this matter and they do something urgently, or else we the Igbos will not take this again. One and will say yes, and all of you foolishly and mumusili kubanaka. In as far as Nabiafra, Nibu and Ataki clears it, Una go suffer, suffer till you not die until you not say enough is enough. We must fight for Biafra. This is a simple message. Imagine they have not protested. Imagine when Una will come protest for better Nigeria, they will wipe all of Nah out. If I teach you, Nama, I know why. <laughs> Kudos. 
Yoruba people, I thank you for this very update. Thank you. I, I appreciate you all.